All right, so if you've been following all the steps up until now, you should have a theme over here. I named mine Vue.js, but you can name yours whatever you want. Let's go ahead and click on Actions and Publish. This will make it easier once we actually start coding and have to preview the theme. And let's go ahead and click Preview just to see how it looks. And we can see that the boilerplate code that we got with ThemeKit doesn't actually have a whole lot. We can see that we have the home, collection, and cart. So if we go into collection, we can see that there is no product. So let's go ahead back into our store dashboard and go to the products tab. And with this lecture, there's going to be a product CSV file attached that's going to give you a boilerplate of all of the products that I'll be using for this course. They will also be attached in a zip file with all of the resources for this course. So let's go ahead and click on import and find the file. Once you find your file, go ahead and click upload and continue. And it's going to give you a preview of how the information will be inside of your product. And let's go ahead and import product. So this might take a few minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, so the products are now uploaded and we can see that they all look pretty good. We have six products here, they're paintings, and we can go ahead and click on any of the products and just see how they look. So we have some sizes for the products. It doesn't really make sense for paintings, but just to give an idea of how sizes will work on our product page, I added sizes and colors. As you can see, we kind of mixed up a few different variants here. So let's go ahead into collections. And I've already created this collection, but you can go ahead and click create collections and name yours, whatever you want. And then we have two collection types. We have manual and automated. So the automated one will put all of the product into your collection based on conditions. So these are kind of like an if statement or an or statement. And we can see that we can choose from the product tags, the price, the title. We can just go ahead and click on product price and we can just say greater than zero. But you can add whatever conditions you want to your products. For example, this is very useful when you want to automatically update collections when products are added. Otherwise, you can just manually add products into the collections. So for example, if you have a sale running for, you know, like the top 10 items that you want to choose, you would choose probably manual, or you can go ahead and add a tag to a product, which will then you can set over here to match the tag name. But anyways, let's go ahead and click save now. So I didn't put in a title, but I'm just going to discard this one because I have another collection that I made over here. And I'm going to do this one manually just clicking all the products into this collection. Perfect, so we have a collection now and we have some products. So let's go ahead into our store again and we can refresh and see how our files look like. And we can see that it's paginated here, so we can go to the next page. All right, so let's go to the next video where we're actually going to start looking at the code and seeing how the collection page works behind the scenes. See you there.